welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I kind of have like a really big Lush haul. Like, the biggest Lush haul I've ever had in my life. But, I've only actually got a few different items. So, are you ready to jump into it? Let's do it. Okay, so the first one is Herbalism. And it is a face and body cleanser. And it says, gentle herbal cleanser with ground almonds to exfoliate and rice vinegar to mop up excess oil. Help has arrived for troubled skin. Um, I was looking for new face wash because as you guys know I have really troubled skin and I have very oily skin and I've been trying to find something that works and that works amazingly and I've heard good things about Lush um, products for you know your hair body and face and all of that stuff besides their bath bombs which you guys know that I'm a very big fan of so I thought hey let's give it a try now I have used this it looks like baby poop and it smells terrible but I do like the way that it makes my face feel after I have used it um, I have noticed that I'm not breaking out in the areas that I do normally so I think that this is helping me I also wanted to try a, another um, face cleanser after I tried that one that kind of did the same thing but I think I like this one a lot better. And this one is the Dark Angels. And it says, it's a face and body cleanser and it's our velvety black sugar, charcoal and rosseled mud. Cleanser exfoliates, absorbs excess oil and brightens complexions. The nemesis of block pores. I absolutely adore this stuff. It looks like black Play-Doh. and it's just kind of weird, but it smells, I don't know, it smells clean to me. It smells like it will draw everything out of your face, and I love this stuff more than I like the herbalism um, that I've been alternating the last couple days um, with both of them, because I wanted to kind of tell you guys what I thought about it before I went ahead and did this haul so you guys could, you know, um, know something and I wouldn't just be going off the top of my head of what I thought it was like but this stuff definitely mops up the excess oil just a little bit better than the um, herbalism does and it also exfoliates a little bit better so if I had to say pick the one of the two I would pick the Dark Angels um, but I'm still alternating the both of them to try to see you know which helps my skin a little bit better what's actually the best for my skin and not just what I think feels better make sense right on and next I also got the tea tree toner water and I have been experimenting with this on how to use it and what works best for me it says it's a toner water cleansing tea tree astringent grapefruit and balancing juniper berry keeps disasters at bay Benefer, Benefer. beneficial for anyone with oily skin and it's alcohol free so I was really excited to try this. Now I am, through my cosmetology certification, I'm also a licensed esthetician. And I did more of that. You got, when you're doing hair, you learn how to do skin and nails too. And you can kind of pick which one you want it to go towards the most out of the two aesthetics and nail techs. And I liked the skincare a lot better than I did nails. I am terrible when it comes to acrylics. I can do manicure, pedicure, but the rest of the stuff just not that great at. Aesthetics, however, I pride myself on being a really, really good facialist. And you always put the toner on before you put the moisturizer on. Now, I had been doing that since I got this. I would wash my face, and then I would do the toner and then put on my moisturizer. And it really was not making my skin the way I wanted it to feel. Um, so I had just decided to skip, yeah, I said skip, the moisturizing for the last couple days after I washed my face and just did the toner. Now, since it doesn't have any drying out ingredients, um, this actually leaves my face really moisturized afterwards, but with also um, it absorbing whatever oils is on my face. And then last night when we got in really, really late, we got in at about 10.30 
from coming back from um, where we were. I picked my husband up from the airport and then we stayed at his parents' house that night and then came back the next day. I was so tired. I didn't want to wash my face. We just put the kids in bed and I just wanted to go to bed. So I just sprayed this on my face and it absorbed a lot of grease and grime and grossness and made me feel refreshed. So this is a must have if you are a person with oily skin, especially if you're a busy mom or a busy student. I suggest you get this. I also got some samples. I got three samples. I got the Imperial's Face Moist and it looks like this. That is supposed to be good for oily skin. It's really thin, kind of watery, um, so it's not very thick, so it makes me feel a little bit better. The Vanishing Cream. This is a little bit thicker. Not exactly sure how I feel about this one. This one's supposed to be good for um, acne prone, oily skin too. And then I also got Grease Lightning, which is a, I don't know if you can see that in there. It's kind of gel. Um, it's a spot treatment. I like the spot treatment. I had a couple um, yuckies on my face and I felt like this helped um, to dry them out a little bit but not overly drying where it just kind of flakes off there. It was kind of gross. I got, they were out of the little bitty bags so I have two bags full of bath bombs. Now I got four, five, six. I got six of the ever favorite, everybody loves this, Twilight Bath Bomb. Six of those, and they smell so good. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the pink bath bombs, because I absolutely love these two, because they are pink and have little paper parts that shoot out everywhere. And then I'm trying a new one. And it got some pink on there. They had to travel. I told my husband when I was going into the store that I was probably gonna spend some money because that was the second time I had been in a Lush store and I'm not gonna be able to go in one for another until around Thanksgiving time because we're not going back around there until then. So that's months. That's months before I get to go in there and play with things and smell things and look at things. So I stocked up on some stuff and I got a Biz Banger. Excuse the pink. The pink's not supposed to be on there. It's just supposed to be yellow. Biz Banger bath bomb. And it kind of has an apple cinnamon smell to it. But it's not like overpowering. So I was really excited to get this one to try it out to see if it was going to be like fall inspired, loving, you know, just get me in the fall mood because I'm a big uh, fall season person and winter season person. I like spring, uh, summer, I'm not really big in the summer. I don't like being hot, um, but fall and winter, a pair of jeans, some boots and a sweater and I'm a happy girl, especially pumpkin spice. Love pumpkin spice everything. Anyways, so yeah, I got many a bath bombs. That's bag one. And bag two. And I am so excited. I'm going to take a bath. I'm gonna take Zoe's bath. And yeah, I got in trouble. My husband realized how much. I spent in there and how much stuff I got and I got in a little bit of But it's well warranted, right? I mean, I'm not going to be there for a really, really, really long time. And he's probably not going to let me put in an online order for a really, really long time. So, it was worth it. So worth it. So, yeah guys, that was my super big, but not too big, but big Lush haul. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this. Please let me know if you've tried any of the new face products that I got, and if you have any suggestions, I am open to them. Um, like I said, I haven't tried any of their stuff before until now, and I really like the stuff that I got, and I'm open to ideas and suggestions. And also, if there's any bath bombs out there that you think that I would like, um, I really like the feel of the princess bath bombs. 
That's what I feel like the toilet bath bomb is. It's just a princess bath bomb. You're in pink glittery water. What's better than that? Um, yeah, shoot me a comment down below. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at Tiffany and Co. XO. And please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you are, hi, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. My friends, you're all my friends. And, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Anastasia Artist Palette. I need some more color in my life. So I'm excited about this. I have swatched a couple, I'm not gonna lie. I, I broke into this as soon as I got it in the mail. Sat in my car and opened it up and swatched out a couple of these colors. I swatched out the beigey, the fresh, and the dusty rose. And can I just tell you, oh my goodness. Pigmented 